Hi, right, John McPhail here again, continuing on with our Matex fluid injector. I want to take you through it step by step as it to exactly what we need to do to hook this up, and then we're going to actually operate this thing and show you a few things there. As you've seen in previous videos, when, you, when the system injector arrives, it's going to look something like this. So what we're going to want to do is take our pump out of the base plate. And the easiest and simplest way to do that is there's a few little tricks. One of them is to move this handle up out of the way, come down here with your clip, unclip it, and it's down. You can drop your handle. If you don't do it that way, what can happen is you can open this up and then you got, you got your handle in the way. Yeah, you can snap it up out of the way, but it's simpler to do it the other way. If you get used to it, it's going to work pretty good for you. Then there's a clip on the other side. We'll unclip this and simply grab the pail right here in one of these lips and lift the whole system out of there. Uh, it's taking your pump and your mixing system. As you can see in here, there's your pump, there's your mixing system. It's not being set down on a dirty floor, it's not picking up any dirt or debris, and it's not going to void your warranty if you get something stuck in the check valve or what have you. So, anyways, this is nice and clean, it's out of the way. This is your base plate. Take your base plate and see the little holes in the bottom. This is aluminum. See the holes here? Either drill a, a, a bolt down through there, a self tapping screw or what have you, one or two, kind of keep it in place where you want it. Just keep in mind that it does come with 15 feet of electrical line, 15 feet of air hose, and 15 feet of discharge hose that will come out of here. So if you set it somewhere in the middle on the drill rig, you should be able to fit it into where you want it. Taking it from there, once you have your base plate in place, you have your pump and such out, you go to your pail of hole control. Your handy dandy little green lid buster, as I showed you in another video, pop the lid off. And I just want to show you when the lid is off, you can see the O-ring in here. That keeps everything watertight, airtight, nice and sealed in there so nothing gets in. This O-ring is in underneath this face plate here as well, so don't worry about any of that. You're not going to get any dirt or debris in there that way. So we have our hole control ready to go into our base plate. Take your pail, drop it in there. Another little trick is when you drop it in, line up the center of this handle here with your, with your mounting clip. It makes it a lot easier. Then transfer your pump and your mixing system into the into the uh, hole control product. As I mentioned before, you can see this is a two-piece product. The oil is kind of settling on the top, and it's no big deal because there's your, your blender, your mixer. And I'll show you here. You can see that it's a two-piece product. It's starting to separate, but don't worry about that for a bit because we'll show you here in a second when we fire this thing up how much and how quick that mixes. So another trick again is you've got your clip here, your handle here and your clip. Lift your handle up, clip this in place, snaps into place, it doesn't have to be tight because it's already sealed with the O-ring that's under here. And come around the other side. If it's not quite lined up, just move your pail a little bit and clip it into place. You're sealed, everything's all good to go. You didn't dirty your pump, you didn't dirty your mixer, you didn't contaminate the product whatsoever. So now we're ready to mix. And we're gonna fire this thing up here in a few minutes, put some air pressure to it and show you how it all works. Okay, so continuing on here, now we have the injector submerged into the hole control product. So we now have our electrical hookup, which is up to our 12 volt from a 12 volt source. We have over here, we have our air hooked up, and that's just where you're just on shop air, but this is just for demonstration purposes only. We have a few extra valves on here that I'm going to speak to you about. So the first thing that happens is when we hook this system all up. We've got it all ready to go. Remember, this is all mounted. We're, in the, we're in, in the product and we're ready to start injecting. Electrical hooked up, air hooked up. We hit this blue button, hit this button, it turns blue, and that's your start button. Then, for the first 30 seconds, what's going to happen is it's automatically programmed that your mixer is going to mix for 30 seconds. It gets a little noisy because of the muffler. The air is discharged here through a muffler. Then, while that's mixing, it's, we have it on very low pressure, it's only on about 90 PSI. I'm going to lift this out 
of the product a little bit so you can see exactly how it mixes. You've seen how it was separated, and after even if it's six months, even a, a year, it doesn't matter. That's why we made it 30 seconds long, so we know that it's going to mix that product up. So hopefully you can hear me over the noise, but I'm going to hit the start on this. It's going to mix for 30 seconds. I'm going to show you that, and then I'm going to put it down, and then we're going to go to, ahead to inject and to show you that. So here we go with uh, on this dial as well. You'll see this is one liter per hour, and maximum should be three liters, liters per hour. And when the light is on, it's flashing, it'll show you. It beeps fat, uh, slow when it's on low and a lot higher when it's on high. So here we go. We're going to turn it on. Now the only thing that's happening right now is your mixer is mixing. I have this on clamp at this point just to show you. We can zoom in on this. You can see this, how well the fluid is being mixed around. And that is only at about 90 PSI going in there and soft air. Very little. But for 30 seconds of mixing, doesn't matter if it's been sitting for a year, it's going to mix it up perfectly so you have a 100% mixture and a good consistency of the product while you're introducing it into your jewelry. So I'm going to clamp this back down over here. Again, keep it nice and sealed. Keeps any water out, any debris out, clamped in there. Once this stops mixing, it will go automatically into the injection mode. And then you will see this light starts to flash. You can see it's flashing there because it's at three liters per hour. So if you're standing away from your machine and you're wondering how much product you're injecting, whether it's on the high or the low setting, you can see on this light, as I and you can see it coming out here. It's coming out at a uh, at a four to one multiplier in this pump, and I'll explain that in a minute. But you can see how quick it's really coming out, because that's giving you three liters per hour. Again, this is the whole control product. It mixes with the water, so it goes into the discharge side of your water injection system, and it mixes immediately with the water as it's carried on into your airline. So if we come back here. And look at this light. As we turn this down, you can see the light slows down and your injection rate will slow down. So we'll turn it right down there just to show you the difference. So these MAC valves are operating. At the, and the timer lets it know when to pump and when to release the air. That's the sound that you're hearing. So having said that, again, this is a four to one multiplier in this pump itself. So what we're seeing here, so I'm going to turn that up just so we can get, doesn't take as long to do the video. What you can see here is right now we've got 80 PSI coming in. So you know, on your regulator, if you set this at say 100 PSI, just by slowly turning this up, there's your 100 PSI incoming air pressure. So I'm going to close this valve off and I'll just show you what we're getting with 100 PSI in we're going right up to 400 PSI on the discharge. So we have two different pumps, one that I will call a high pressure pump. And the high pressure pump is the, when I'm speaking of high pressure, I'm talking about the air that's coming in. It's a high pressure air coming in here. So if you have a uh, 300 PSI coming in on the high pressure pump, you're going to be two to one. You're going to get 600 PSI out. On the low pressure pump, we get low pressure coming in, a four to one multiplier and you're going to get four times the pressure coming out, out of here. We don't want 500 PSI going in here and 2000 PSI coming out here and that's why we have two different systems because the internal parts or your hoses may not be able to handle the 2000 PSI on the discharge side. Again, it doesn't come with this, this, uh, whole, this uh, regulator or, or this pressure valve. This is just for demonstration purposes only. It will come, however, with this regulator, and this regulator regulates the pressure only to the mixing system itself. So there you have it. There's your pressures being built up. Have a very nice consistency of product that's coming out, being injected into your water line, that's being carried to your airline, and coating the holes nicely for you, as you've seen in some of the some of the videos. That should explain our injection system. Oh, and by the way, for safety reasons, safety purposes only, I went over it before in the other video. However, 
I want to drill this into our heads is when you go, when this pail is empty and you want to move over into a new pail, I'll explain how to do all that, but very, very good safety is to make sure your airline is disconnected. If your airline, especially your airline, if it's disconnected, the, the mixer and the pump both work off of air pressure. There's it, impossible for anything to work without air. So if you take that off for safety reasons, then you can go ahead and change it from one pail to the other. And for more safety, you can also even disconnect or shut off your power. There's your power, it's on, but nothing's going to happen because there's no air pressure there. But you should just shut it off. So then when you shut it off, move it over in the new pail, hook everything back up, hook your airline back in, clamp down, don't do what I did because I was on very low air just to show you that it mixed, clamp down, hit your start, it'll go for 30 seconds again and then it'll go injecting to the exact last setting that you had it set at. Thanks for watching.